All right, what is going on you guys? Today we are in my backyard. We're gonna be doing a bike check. So let's, let's get into it. So this is my bike. I now have two of them. I have the Brakeless, Brakeless Wonder, Brakeless Bertha, and then I have this one. This is Oksana. She is my pride and joy and I love her. So starting out, we'll go at the top. ODI long neck grips. Then we got the 34R lever. This is the best lever I've ever ridden. It's like a, just two separate cables that run out of it, so you get a nice good pull out of it. Then we have the uh, total Killaby bars in 9.1. Profile push stem with tie bolts. I believe it is, it's the smaller one. I forget, I forget the measurement. It is, I think it's a 48. It's a 48 millimeter down to the 34R gyro plate. 34R gyro, then um, carbon fiber spacer because I'm a weight weenie, uh, shadow conspiracy headset, and then that goes down to the total Killaby forks, and then for the front wheel we got the Profile Elite hub with tie bolts, tie spokes, and then the Alienation Deviant rim with a Maxxis grifter tire and a 2.1. And then going on we got the frame, this is the total Americano frame in the 20.8. Love this frame, this is probably the most favorite frame I've ever ridden. When this one breaks, I'm gonna be going and get another one. And going down, we got the Profile Spline Drive Sprocket and a 28 tooth. Profile cranks with aluminum bolts, tie spindle, and their 165s, and then the premium slim pedals. And then for the chain, we got that uh, Shadow Conspiracy Half Link. This chain, bulletproof, I had it for years, it's a little rust. And then for brakes, we have the 34R Cleto brake with fly, fly clear pads. These pads are great. They have their female bolts, so it doesn't have the giant bolts sticking out, which gets snagged on you when you do tail ups and spins and things. And then for the back wheel, puppy purse. It's the Profile Elite with a nine tooth tie driver, tie spokes, tie bolts, Odyssey 7KA rim, and then a Maxxis grifter in 2.1. And then, what did I forget? Seat. We got the profile seat with pivotal seat with some seat post. It's good. I like it. Small, stays out of the way. And then, yeah, that's it. And I guess some cool things about it is my, one of my favorite features is the brakes going through seat post tube or whatever that's called. Um, because before I'd have to have like a London mod or some sort of thing because I run dual cables, which would go out here, which you kick and knock off all the time. But now this is super direct, makes it a nice direct pull and out of the way. And then up here at the top, I have these brake noodles, which um, make the cables instead of having them bend all the way down here, it makes them nice and tight. So it's uh, again, out of the way and kind of low key and looks good. We're in my backyard, get a couple clips and I hope you enjoyed. So. Here you go. So one thing I also like to do is I paint my frames all the time. I'll take the paint off, put new paint on. It's always spray paint. So this is my latest color I did. It's all that high quality Home Depot, but it's a dark gray um, primer. And then on top, it's kind of like this kind of color shifty clear coat that I found. It's pretty sweet, but uh, it looks really cool. It, at like skate parks at night with the uh, fluorescent lights. It's like shifting all sorts of stuff, but it's not like jet fuel and super like eh, in your face. But yeah, it's pretty nice. If you want to see a how-to on to get this paint scheme or kind of like something similar to it, drop a comment down below. I love painting my bike, so don't hesitate to ask. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick bike check. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of this build, if you have any other questions or anything like that. 
I'm tired. It's hot out. The Florida summer is here. But you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. See ya!